Hello and welcome to Nigel's Hidden Treasure, a Thief Gold Fan Mission by BBB. Let's uh, head to the slightly less noisy men here. Oh, we now the briefing. At the local pub, I overheard one of the local thieves, Nigel, bragging about how he and a few others from the West Side gang had found some hidden treasure in the caves near Nigel's house, and they were going to continue searching for more treasure and a magic scepter. The caves were always rumoured to be haunted, and even the hammers were afraid to enter them. There are many stories told late at night, after much ale was consumed, that most of those who ventured into the caves never returned. Lord Reginald supposedly lost twenty men in the caves about five years back. The one man who made it out alive has been completely incoherent ever since. Well, I know where Nigel lives, as I introduced him to a pence a few years ago for a hefty fee, which he never paid to me. He has since taken to pushing around the weaker petty thieves who can barely make ends meet. He's one to avoid. He really has no honor and lives by no code. Maybe it's time for me to pay him back. Yes, a little revenge and some gold would make a nice end to this evening. In any case, I could use some extra funds, and Nigel is not really as tough as he thinks he is. Actually, I don't have to be tough with him, just smarter than he is, which isn't very challenging. My plan is to drink ale for a few hours after the pub's close while the city goes to sleep, and then to break into Nigel's house and steal whatever he has collected. My new friend Vincent says that if I drop goods and trinkets off to him late tonight, he will turn them into gold within 24 hours. While I am in the city in the dark, I may as well take some extra loot for myself. Easy job, fast money, and paying back an old enemy. What am I waiting for? Time to go to work. I'm low on arrows, so maybe I should break into the weaponsmith to gather some equipment, just in case I run into a little resistance. Alright, this one does have difficulty levels. Um, it's only, again, it's only loot gold, as it seems. Uh, so let's go with hard. Break into Nigel's house to see what treasure he found, and steal it. Pay a visit to the local weaponsmith and load up on weapons. After your work is done, find your way back to your starting point, and steal 9,000 in loot while you're out and about. Did you hear about Billy? You mean Billy, who wins the drinking contest at the pub? Yes, that's him. They say Nigel sent him down the caves near Nigel's place, and he did not return. I think he's dead. Why did he ever go down into those caves? Men were lost years ago, and I, I thought the caves were sealed off for many years. Even the hammers stay away from them. That scoundrel Nigel had Billy and some others open the caves and go looking for treasure. Crazy, if you ask me. I stay away from Nigel ever since he cut off Big John's ears in a drunken fight. How did you hear all this, anyway? Amy knows Billy's girlfriend, Betty, and she is beside herself. I think she'd better start looking for another boyfriend. I'm going to see them both later after dinner is over. Seems like every few years another courageous group decides to go looking for gold and treasure only to never return. I remember the expedition to the Bone Horde. Supposedly, Garrett made it through there and came out in one piece. Tell Betty, the hot maiden in the stables, that if she needs some love, I'll be drinking ale by myself tonight, as usual. She's too young for you, and I think she can do without you tonight. But I may be lonely later. Leave your door unlocked. <laughs> Well, thanks for the key. Guess we're not gonna be seeing much of Billy then. Hello. Someone's left me a flash bomb. A few arrows. I can't see a way in there. Thought I saw something. Oh, well. Question is, where can I go? It's a little weird to feel like you're uh, completely cooked in. Well, I can do a stock take first. I got well, six broadheads now, one water arrow, no moss, one rope, got one flash bomb, one healing potion, and my lockpicks. And well, there's a front gate key. There must be a front gate lock. 
Uh, should have been obvious. I wonder if I can get in here. Also wonder if I have a map. Let's sit in the shadow here and uh, find out. Okay, we start here. Heading east out this way. So yeah, I guess I can get into that, but roundabout. Rough map very well. Two caves both in the northwest and in the east by uh, Nigel's. It's a very, very old map, okay. Unknown area. Well, I guess I mean it's it's very hastily scribbled, but it's got a very on a very nice piece of paper that's I like that. Here we go. Anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. There's a guy on a bat here, so... Just need to be a little careful. Gates that I can't access. When are they going to bring me my dinner? That's what I want to know. When is it? Okay, I've got a nice. I I saw something. A nice room. Oof. Well, thanks to a room brushing problem, he didn't hear a thing. Look at this, more metal, just what I need. And then more guards going up and down the other side of the canal there. Well, let's go very slowly here. Oh, I can't see to open this. There's really no lever or lockbox or anything. Doesn't look like it, that's odd. I mean, he's got a lever for some gate. Wasn't in there. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna follow, keep following this guy around. Is that you? Show yourself. No. There's nothing here. Okay, you taffer. <laughs> Gotta stop jumping at nothing. Don't know hey. what yeah. What was that noise? Oh, woke him up again. Garrett, can't you drop more quietly than that? Here, I dare you. Where are you, you tougher? Can't hear it anymore. Probably nothing. Okay, don't have to burn my glass, but nothing making noise now. <laughs> So that's going back north. Okay, so that's the guard tower that I was just at, right? I guess... I think. Very rough map. Um, well, let's see what's down this way. Seems to take me through to another part of the town here. I know, it's just a courtyard. Oh, there's a lockbox, actually. Locked gate. That heads further east, I guess, towards Nigel's. I think I'm hearing our pacing friend there. Well, hang on a second. I think I maybe have to head towards the weaponsmith first. Eh, let's unlock this, I guess. Right, yeah, that's where we just were. So where does this take me? Maybe nowhere, maybe this is just a locked gate I'm not going to be able to open. This is what it seems to be. And of course, another metal floor. I 
And there's anything up here? A door that I can't open. All right, well, let's keep exploring this way. More metal. Gotta love it. A couple more arrows, that's nice. I wonder what I'm, if I'm gonna need them. I hope not, right? There is. Hmm, looks like maybe I can actually get up there. Let's give that a go. in your attic, man. You should have some valuables up here. It's a safe place to keep them right here. Does he not have any valuables? It's a bottle. Cheap stuff. Alright, that's a bit more like it. I can sell that. Oh, he's got a locked door. Interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. What have we here? This is Nigel's stash? This is Nigel's house already? Okay, I hadn't really realized we were there already. Contracted with Sam to kill Garrett. Sam has three very tough associates, and the four of them will take care of Garrett Friday night after the pub closes. They kill Garrett at his place, and I pay them 100 gold on delivery of Garrett's dead body. Then they will discard him into the canal. I will finally be rid of my competition forever. Ha ha. No one will care when they discover the floating body. Least of all, the city watch. Silence Nigel forever. Alright then. Yes, if uh, he wants to kill us, we should try to do it for kill him first, right? Is this you, Nigel? What's this say? Nigel's diary. I spoke with Jordan a few weeks back and he's convinced the magic scepter we have heard about for so long is in one of the cave systems in the area. He read about it in his Uncle Gilbert's private journal, which Jordan got when Gilbert passed away last year. Gilbert was the house captain for Lord Hildebrand for 20 years. The Lord had a magic scepter that he had stolen from a wizard who was killed in the last war. According to Gilbert, it was the most beautiful piece he had ever seen, and any of the local wizards would pay handsomely for it. The last Gilbert wrote of it, the magic scepter was stolen from Hildebrand, and was moved deep in the caves and protected by haunts. They will have to be dealt with before we take the scepter off the hands. I must find it. A scepter is my retirement, and I will find it even if it means death to dozens of men. I promised Jordan 300 gold if I find the scepter. He will get a big surprise when I find the scepter, as I will give him my sword to the throat. Nigel. Oh, he's got a safe here too. Well, let's, let's begin. My silence is snoring. Oh, that's right, let's uh, see if I can open this. What are you hiding in your safe here, mate? Nothing? It's not a safe, is this a passageway? Oh, I see. Cave door key. What's, my, what's this papyrus say? No, not that one, this one. Nigel, I hope Billy made it out of the cave yesterday. It is getting much more dangerous and the spiders are multiplying. I did not see Billy come out and waited for almost an hour by the entrance. I fear the worst. After he did not show up, I locked the gate. Here's the key. Don't venture back into the caves. Even though we know the magic scepter is somewhere down there, it's no longer worth the risk. If Billy makes it out alive, I think we have to agree to still let him keep his 50% for doing all the work and taking all the risk. Make sure you are storing the gold in the secret hiding place in your house. We should be able to acquire the old brown shoe tavern soon enough. Maybe we should take the stealing from local nobles, as it's far safer. Hmm. Alright. A 
don't think I need either of those with viruses, but uh, we have a Nigel to deal with now. Wonder how best to tackle this problem. <clears throat> Firstly, let's um, burn these notes. I don't think we need them. We don't want anyone to know we've been here. Fact. Let's leave them thinking that uh, everything's still hunky dory in Nigel's house. Alright, can I drop down here without hurting myself? Hopefully. Yeah, good. So that's the way to the caves, I see. Okay, well, I've got some more of the town to explore. Dump him in the canal, or I could bring him with me to the caves. The problem is... See, if he... was lost in the caves and never found, it would be... quite an appropriate ending, so I think... I think that is what I will do. I need to visit the weaponsmith, I'm gonna need... There's lots of spiders, I'm definitely gonna need my broadheads. Let's just have a quick look here. That is the cave gate, right? It is. Okay, we can come back there. That's handy. Okay, so. A little more of the town to explore and a weaponsmith to rob. Low-footed friend here to deal with. I wonder if there's any uh, value in me going in the canals. Well, maybe. Let me go out this way first. Hmm, another locked gate. All these city gates are always locked. Okay, that's the guard tower. Let's try the canal. Exactly in a hurry, are they? Something there. Hang it, Garrett. Don't worry, I'll find okay, you. Okay, you taffer. I'll find you. Can't you grab a ledge when you're supposed to? <laughs> I know you're around here somewhere. I can flash bomb if I have to. Maybe they'll... Oh, is he just going right. to walk into the Where water there? Are you? He very nearly did. Very nearly drowned himself. That would have been quite amusing. Alright, I think they're about to give up. Is he, is he just, is just going to stand there? He's not going to patrol? What? What am I supposed to do then? How am I supposed to get past? Probably still uh, quite alerted as well. <laughs> I suppose I can knock him out. What? Scare! 
scared, are we? Um, mate, you might be in trouble there. How come I didn't... What did I hit? Did I hit the light? Ah! You're dog meat! Um, I'm afraid you're the one who's probably dog meat now. His friend heard him drowning. All right. Oh shit. Ow. Too much coffee this morning. Well, if they want to drown themselves, that's their problem, not mine. What even is this place? When are they going to bring me my dinner? That's what I want to know. When are they going to bring me my dinner? Alright, he's on the other side of the lock. Okay, that's okay. Oh, this is the pub, is it? Very noisy right now. Hello. I wonder if I can get in up there. Nope, that is not wood apparently. I'm not gonna waste my only uh, rope out of that way. Dang it, BBB. You love metal too much. Someone there? Seems quiet enough now. Oh. Damn it, I thought it was in the dark. I guess I misjudged. Hello? Show yourself. Hello? Anyone there? Right, this is the no, this is the weapon smith. Good. It's finally, it's finally some more water arrows. Oh, I don't even have a sword, so let's fix that. Might as well take his money and his weapons. Although, I'm not convinced I need a hammer. I'll leave that for the more religious types. Okie dokie. Hmm. <coughs> Wondering how I can get up there, if I can get up there. Or maybe I can't. Okay. Back to the docks. <laughs> Quietly now. Oh, there's a ladder here. We're getting out of the canals. Okay. Fell in by accident. Unfortunately, our friend there didn't know about it. Oh, hello. This I can climb. Maybe this one will. I don't hear anyone inside. Nice little gold necklace there. What's 
this what's this wooden beam across the house? Do they have anything on top of that? Can't quite see. Let's uh, take a closer look. Nope. You know, sometimes people like to hide valuables on top of beams, thinking they'll be out of sight and therefore out of reach by potential thieves, but I am wise to that trick. We got down here, a little void under the uh, stairs. Well, I didn't hide it on top of the beam. I hid it under the stairs and thought that would be good enough. Sorry to say it wasn't. Well, rather, I'm very happy to say it wasn't. Okay, so how am I going to get down from here? <laughs> well, maybe just a gentle drop is good enough. <clears throat> or maybe not. Ah, that's close enough. Alright, I think now we're ready to go to Nigel's. Oh. I thought I could make the jump. I was wrong. I do wonder though, is there a ladder around the side at all? There is not, alright. Back to the far end we go. You weren't carrying any money on you, uh, were you, sir? Nope. around this way. Yes. So he went straight across. So can I not make the jump? Come on. I can't just. To an old place we go. I can't will uh, pretty quickly forget who we are and where we where he saw us. Let's go to a cave and bring Nigel with us. What other objectives we have? Yeah, just find the magic scepter and the hidden treasure. No problem. Nigel, we're off to find your treasure. And you're excited? It should be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a, an adventure. All right. We don't want any guards coming in behind us. So let's close the door and lock it. Ooh. Well, you know, I mean, it's almost too easy. Hang on, I don't I see a spider down there. That I'm gonna have to deal with. Many board heads to waste. Dang it, that was way too many. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. All right. Well, there's one solution to the problem: is uh, accidentally bolt your death. 
when you get a second chance with the uh, broadheads. That's more like it. Alright. Let's try and do that jump better. I kind of landed just on the edge. This is not easy with this dead weight. I'm wondering if there are more spiders or all. Hard to say. I hope not, but you never know. Well, I could either drop down to where the spider is, or I could try jumping to that ledge. I'm gonna try the ledge. <coughs> hmm. That's not where I'm gonna have to walk. Ah, more broadheads, that's nice. Who's this? Is it, is it for Billy? Hope Edward comes back here soon. Broke my leg with the fall and one of these damn spiders stung me. Should never have come down here just for the gems. What was I thinking? What indeed. Ah, it's not, not labelled. Yeah, even in, even in this death the spider is still trying to support me. Okay. You're a terrible shot now. Oh, well, there's more of them. That's clear. I don't know if I can make that jump while carrying a body. There's a big one there. Gem or something up there. Some more water arrows, okay. Especially a raid treasure there. Alright, let's see if we can bring a uh, friend back here yeah, with us. I mean, I, we could just drop him in the lava. Yeah! Yeah! Or I could just jump in the lava myself, you know. But I feel like it needs to be more than just an accidental fall into lava, don't you? Alright, Nigel, <coughs> wait there. We have a key. Just a key unlabeled, okay. Anything else in this chamber? There's not. I guess it would be impossible to sneak past that spider, but I would much rather not have it left alive behind me. Hmm. Well, that's surely not the treasure that Nigel was after. I mean, obviously, there's the scepter, but all this talk of hidden treasure. 
second. I'll just wait here for a minute. I hear some, uh, some more noises I don't like the sound of. Sound pretty close. Oh, it's just a small one, okay. That's another one I had, though. See you up there. Machinery in these caves, that's very odd. Well, let's collect this loot and let's go get our friend back before we worry about the question of machineries. They were talking about hammer haunts, but hammer haunts I mean, hammer rates love machinery, but haunts are not known to generally use it. Sick enough to that while I scout ahead again. Door? Storeroom? Guards? Back here. What? Guard lock. Make sure all guards follow the key procedures for the guard tower. One key to stay at the tower, and the other key is to be left at the guard office in case one of the stupid guards loses the key like Benny did last week. Break into the guard tower and open the city gate. Okay. Every key opens something somewhere. Yeah, get it. Every lock is a challenge to a thief. Hmm. So, well, I mean... Do I let Nigel have an accident here in the lava? In the caves? Or to try and bring him to where the scepter is? You know what, I feel like... He deserves to see the whole adventure, right? Perhaps it might limit my opportunities for him to have an unfortunate accident. Um, why are we going? So the city gate was back the other way. Right, we're back at Nigel's house here. Alright. So we've got our slow friend. Nigel, you can wait there. I think I can afford to use one of these this time. I'm gonna make it about then. a little safer to get there. Uh 
That was the gate there, I guess. Alright, well, let's go through with Nigel. Last time I managed to land without flattering. It's a nice change. Guard in the guard tower is actually looking the other way, so. Alright. More guards here, perhaps? Ah, oh, right, up on the battlements. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with him. Oh, that's the weaponsmith, right. Well, I guess... Doesn't seem... I guess maybe I can climb this? I'm not sure. Maybe not a smart plan of action, honestly. Do I burn another water arrow to take the torch out? Yeah, I probably should. Let's be safe. He's an archer. He might see me if it's Don't too. Don't think you can hide for long. If it's too bright. <laughs> Is this the way I've got to go? This is the only way I can get forwards, actually. Take that! Oh, he did see me. As soon as I find you, you're dead! Damn! Where'd he go? Is there anything up here? Come back out here, you tapper! Hmm. That is kind of. Oh, hello. More arrows. Convenient. What about this way? Oh. Nothing ever happens on this job. Eh, could be worse. It's so dull. Just patrol around in circles. You'd rather be sweeping streets again? At least then I was meeting people. <laughs> yeah, but the wrong kind of people. <sighs> boring, boring, boring. <coughs> well, those are some original voice lines. I think most of them are unused in the release games, but they're still there in the present of the files. So it was an original Dan from saying, boring, boring, boring. I need my rope arrow. Upstairs or downstairs? That's all metal either way. Well, not downstairs is the answer. There's absolutely nothing down here. Quietly. As quietly as I can, at any rate. <laughs> so what have we got going on up here? Out of my way. Where are we now? I don't know. Right across this metal step there. Training dummy. Some moss at long last. And another exit from this place, okay. Let's take this exit because there's no bloody metal step here and it's straight into the dark. I guess it's dark on both sides. Where am I? So 
we're kind of facing west, or just camp east. Are we around here somewhere? What's I don't know. Who goes? Oh, you can see me there. It's Seems than I thought. clear enough now. <laughs> it's probably a good space for moss. I'm just wondering about maybe checking out this building too. So I'm with the, the good wine. I'll take that. Is a good idea. Nothing. Well, is there anything else? You know what? Let's take this guy down. <coughs> you can be asleep here. No one will suspect a thing. What I'm wondering is, is there anywhere else I can usefully get to from this tower? Hmm, that's a long jump. Not sure if we can make that. Okay, we got uh, an archer hanging out in that room as well. He might spot me. I think I should go the other way. <coughs> so, so that tower looks. Mm, almost successful, but probably not, I think. <coughs> oh, noise. That was the, uh, Wrong thing. Am I, st am I stuck down here? I'm not gonna save. Mess with me and you crow me, tapper boy. Hot <clears throat> noise. I feel I might be stuck down here. Where's that window? I think I think I have to reload that. I think falling down here is uh, even that's not the way out. Uh, well, I could rope up onto there. What do you mean, just mantle it maybe? No, it's too shallow for mantling. Rope up on there, but then what? Even from on that roof, I don't think I can get anywhere. All right, let's just reload that. bedroom. Dave, we are almost out of cash. Make sure you put the silver in the secret compartment before you meet me at my mother's house. Also, make sure you arrive by Saturday. I know you don't like her, but she really does like you. Love, Bonnie. Secret compartment, hmm? Dave, did you put the silver in there? I hope you did. I'll... I would like to find it. 
You're hiding a switch by the beds? Yes, you are. What did that open there? Oh, I didn't hear any door or anything. Oh, the bed moved. Huh. Not so secret anymore, is it? Wink. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Beautifully silent uh, mechanism there, though. That's you should be proud. Maybe I can't take the letter with me. I was gonna say maybe if I take the letter and make it look like Dave never got the message, maybe we could spare him a bit of trouble. Oh, hello, mate. You don't have any anything for me, do you? An up gate key. That's nice. Oh, am I gonna need? Am I gonna need this? This is where I'm gonna have to go. No. Yes. I'm gonna have to bring my friend Nigel here. He will want to see this. He'd hate to be left out. Okay, what does that mean then? I guess. <sighs> I guess I'm gonna burn my other moss so that I don't make a ton of noise doing that jump. Well, let's see what's downstairs in this tower. So I thought, for some reason, I thought this was going to be the best way for me to go, but... Apparently not. Well... Secret room I can't... Quite fit in there we are, that's more like it. It doesn't close again. What about the ground floor? Just some prison cells. Oh, and a nice bottle of wine, alright. That'll do handily. Good news, Nigel. The adventure continues. To the upper gate. What do we have here? Well, another golden opportunity for Nigel to drown, but uh, I'm not sure if I want him to. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look. Hmm, I'm gonna have to go in the water though. I'm gonna have to take him with me if I go there. I don't think I've got any other choice. So I guess this, before I risk Nigel drowning on me, I guess it's a pretty good place for me to end the episode. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you'll join me here soon for the next one.